First and foremost, I have to credit this YouTuber with a link down below in the description box to show you where I got this information from because he provides a link for the files that are required to restore WordPad in Windows 11 post 24H2 update. He just took too long to explain. So what you're going to want to do is go right down in here. Drive download link. This is going to open up. You're going to see three different things. The ENUS, the WordPad, and the WordPad filler.dll. So click on the first one. Go to download. I'm doing it on my own computer so that you know that it is perfectly fine. This is going to come up. Put it wherever you want for now. I'm just going to put it on the desktop so that we can uh, find it more easily. Download anyways. It's because it's an EXE file. That's why it's saying, oh, it could be bad. It could be naughty. I'm doing this step by step because this way, with all due respect, there are some people that are just not well versed with computers. And I'm putting everything on the desktop here again so that we can uh, easily access these files. Okay. Now what you, what you want to do is you're going to want to go over to this PC, whatever your PC is called, Windows Program Files, Windows NT Accessories. So let me show you how I got there. So this PC, right? C drive. And then we go to program files. Not program files x86. Just the one that says program files. We're going to head on down to where it says Windows NT. In alphabetical order. We are now going to click on accessories. This is where all those files used to be. But they're not there anymore. It's empty. So we're simply going to take these files from our desktop and we're going to place them in. I'm going to move that. If you need administrative whatever, I'll just go ahead and click continue. And we're going to move this one, which is a zip file. Now I have WinRAR, so I'm just going to right click on this, go to WinRAR and extract here. Yes. And now it added that file that was missing in here, as you could see. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and delete the RAR file because we've opened the book, right? So we don't need it anymore. And I believe from here, we just double click the executable for the WordPad. Click on more info, run anyways. And now you have WordPad, the very beloved WordPad. Now, it's not going to receive any more security updates. and But if you're just like writing some notes, then this doesn't matter. Now, I have a regular text document here that I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go to um, open with. And I'm going to go to choose another app. And then it doesn't show me there. Okay, so that's fine. Choose another app on your PC. It's already in program files. If not, go back to where you were uh, before with the, uh, you know, this PC, C drive, program files, Windows NT, and then going to accessories, and then going to wordpad.exe. And now it brings it up here. And now that it's in the list, we are going to do always, because that's what I always want to do. And then, as you can see here, this new text document is now a WordPad file. Okay? And it opened it up, and it's that simple. Now when you right-click and you go to New, you can also do a new text document. So hopefully this was helpful. I know that I stuttered and... Uh, 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 a couple of times, but the idea was to make this uh, fairly quick. Uh, I'm not bashing the guy that made the original video. Where the heck is it? Uh, but I, I just found that even though my video is technically longer, it took him more than halfway through before he started explaining 
you know, where his files were, where he's going to put them, that there's a download link in the description box. The first couple of minutes was him just talking about how they removed it. We don't care how they removed it or why they removed it. We're here because we just want that bitch back on our computer. So there you have it. Credit to him, though, still, because it's under his uh, Google Drive. And uh, that's pretty much it. I, I have literally nothing else to say. Thumbs up, as always, if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm and trying to make me a little bit more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up online. If you didn't like the video, well, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. Give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your ass. And every time you go to open a WordPad, it opens it up on my computer. And uh, if you want to subscribe, naturally, that'd be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.